Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 2 of my Airfix 112th Doctor Who Welcome Aboard Diorama Build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. To begin this episode, we'll be playing with the electricery. We're first of all going to test the lights on the top of the box and the original sounds. Pressing the plunger that the door presses when you open it did nothing for the sounds but it looks like the lights work so that can stay in situ okay let's get this stripped down and see if we can find the issue with the sounds so without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on There we go, there it is, all stripped back. Once we'd done that, we found that there was degradation of the soundboard and also the wire connecting from the soundboard to the speaker had broken, right on the speaker itself. So that speaker is gonna need replacing. The soundboard was gonna be replaced anyway and it will be replaced by the one you can see here. Next, we'll move on to some of the internals of the TARDIS, the main console. So here we go. There we have all the centre console parts ready. Now for the copy decks. I use this for masking clear parts. The main reason it's cheaper than all the others and works just as well. So here we go. There we go, that's the copy decks done and we can let that dry. Next we can do some masking of the windows. I'd already started these when I realised I hadn't started the camera. So you know the phrase, we did this off camera. So let's get these cracked shall we. There we have the windows all mashed up. Next onto painting is hands and face with a basic skin tone. Here I'm using Tamiya's XF15 flat flesh. So let's get these done.
There we go, that's the basic skin tone done on his hands and face. Next, a quick jump to the pockets of his coat. We'll get those glued in place. Then we go back to the skin tones. So, here we go. And now the skin tone. Skin tone done and we can let them dry. Next up are his Converse trainers. We're painting these Tamiya's XF7 flat red. Shoes done, we can leave those to dry. They'll probably need another coat anyway. Now for some cutting and sanding. We'll be doing the base and other parts that go with the base. So, here we go. There are several alterations that you've got to do to the internals to make them look right. For example, the front step's too high, so it needs to be lowered, which means the second step needs to come down too. And that also means that the connection from the second step to the center console becomes lower. Here, we're using the figure as a rough guesstimate as to where the first step needs to come down to. There we have that done, we'll do the rest later. For the meantime, let's get on with the iconic phone and see how much we can screw it up. So, come on, let's go, try and get this done. There we go, that's the phone all cleaned up. Next, to move on to those walls and the door frame. We'll get these cleaned up, shall we? That's the door frame there, in situ, ready for gluing. Now you can see how my brain works as I have one of my squirrel moments and decide that the sonic screwdriver needs dealing with. So let's deal with it. 
Okay, squirrel moment over. Now to get back to the door frame and give it a bit more of a clean up. That's the door frame cleaned up satis. As you very well know, I prime off camera as I use rattle cans which are cheaper and quicker. All these parts are now primed and ready. Let's have a quick faff about to make sure we know where everything is going. So we're pretty sure we know where things are going to go. Next we're masking off the base ready to get that sprayed up so here we go with that. That's the base of the TARDIS ready for priming. Now, hopefully, we can concentrate on the legs for the centre console, so here we go with those. Right, so there's the middle support leg for the console, ready for priming. Now, more copy decks. This time, we're masking up the framework for the top light cover of the TARDIS. So, let's crack on and get that done. There we go, that's the light frame masked up with copy decks, so let's leave that over there to dry. Next up we have the centre leg. Here we're marking out where it's going to go and then we're going to cut out that marked out section of the second step so that allows it to be supported. That's looking good just how I wanted it. Absolutely perfect. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 2, my 200th video on my channel. If you want to see what happens in episode 3, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.